Now, in 2017's Tragedy Girls, the movie tells the story of true life bloggers and murder enthusiasts Sadie and Michaela, who live in a small town where nothing really happens. Now, while trying to grow their online presence, the girls start to follow the murders of local serial killer Lowell Orson Lehman. But the problem with it all is the girls think that Lowell, while inspiring, doesn't make such a great serial killer. So to really grow their online presence, they start to do the murders themselves so they could be the exclusive bloggers while pinning the murders on Lowell. Now, the girls first lure Lowell out of hiding by dating and having sex with boys in isolated areas, hoping this would bring Lowell to try to kill them and their boyfriends. But this plan actually works as Lowell does murder a guy and gives the girls the perfect opportunity to kidnap the serial killer and bring him back. To their hideout. Once they have Lowell in their clutches, they are hoping that he would give them pointers and train them to be serial killers. But he's not a willing participant. In fact, the girls go on a murder spree themselves, hoping that each murder would make the town that much more afraid of Lowell, while they get the exclusive stories to make their online profiles blow up. But there's one problem. I mean, each of the girls' murders are unintentionally made to look like accidents and thus their plan to cover the exploits of a serial killer while making their following grow are put in jeopardy. Now, it's up to Sadie and Michaela to not only find more victims, but to stop making the police think that everyone is dying by accident. Let's bring us to one of my favorite kills, Big Al. Big Al is like the local firefighter who is also like the town folk legend as well as a ladies man. Sadie and Michaela, who are also attracted to Big Al, sees him as a threat to their plan because the town rallies behind him to stop the local serial killer. This means that no one is willing to watch their content and follow them as the killings unfold. So their goal is to get rid of Big Al and make the town truly fear for their lives. So the girl's goal is to poison Big Al while he's working out at the local gym. But due to some unforeseen circumstances, the plan to kill Big Al must now be expedited. And Michaela's plan to seduce and poison Big Al goes awry. And that's when we see Sadie sneak into the gym and try to bash Big Al's head in with some free weights. But that clearly doesn't work as he starts to toss her all over the place. Now, having to drop this charade, Michaela also tries to jump into action and kill him. And when we get this scene of the two scrawny girls trying to physically manhandle this 300 pound guy and nothing they are doing is working. I mean, we get this shot of Al choking the life out of Sadie. Then suddenly he stops. The camera then pans down to what appears to be a knife stuck in his chest. And then this gives Michaela a chance to take one of those free weights and hit him in the face with it. This causes Al to then stumble backwards, landing onto the weight bench. And to nail the final blow, Sadie removes the pin that is holding the weights in the air, having them land directly on Al's forehead, thus splitting his head in two. I mean, it's one of the gnarliest scenes in this movie. And I say that because most of the kills are super gory. This movie does a good job of being creative with the kills. And the final connective scene, we see Al's best friend and fellow firefighter, Drew, who finds Al's body. And thus the girl's plan comes to fruition. Finally, a kill that doesn't look like an accident. And this brings terror into the hearts of all of the townspeople, all the while pinning the murder on Lil Lehman. So, have you seen Tragedy Girls? If so, what did you think of it? Do you like this kill? Or do you have another favorite kill in the movie? If so, let us know in the comments. And until next time, when said talks hard.